What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Saturday, uh, July 16, 2022 date, about 12.05 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows some movement. Looks like a 2.8 here out around this area of the globe. Um, seen a little bit of activity ramping up here over the last 24 hours, including a, a pretty noticeable increase in activity throughout the Indonesia area and also down here along the uh, New Zealand region. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map from the USGS folks here showing some of that activity ramping up overnight and this morning time frame getting uh, quite a few clusters of uh, earthquakes and whatnot here down along the Kermadec Trench looking uh, at a little closer view we got about six earthquakes or so of somewhat moderate size movement seeing quite a few fives up and down the trench area this is very shallow earthquake activity kicking up at this region uh, we haven't seen any further large-scale deep movement uh, only one 5.1 at 135 kilometers deep into the Tonga trench area uh, but we're still missing that uh, large-scale deeper movement uh, and I think it's getting much closer considering all the shallow earthquake movement we're witnessing today so watch this area around Fiji south of Fiji and this little horseshoe type bin uh, that's an area that gets some pretty large deep earthquakes and uh, I think we're getting close to seeing one considering all the movement here on the shallow side at the surface the latest quake here in this region of 5.3 uh, along the Kermadec Trench also down here outside of the uh, uh, Wellington region, the Cook Strait of New Zealand, a 4.3 striking. Uh, this one coming in, I believe that was late last night time frame. Uh, so things kind of kicking up there along that region pretty nicely. A lot of activity working its way west here. As you can see throughout the uh, Indonesia area, I know the USGS not showing a whole bunch of movement. Uh, but uh, there is quite a few threes and fours kicking up here throughout this region of the world. Uh, let's see what we got here around the Mariana Trench. Quite a few earthquakes overnight as well, including some deeper movement. 194 kilometers for that 5.0. Up here in the uh, Japan Trench, Kurokamchaka Trench, only one earthquake. This one was from yesterday, a 4.4 at 35 kilometers. So quite the increase in pressure movement along with the Pacific Plate making its way, uh, making the pressure uh, kind of head towards the west here from the east in this fashion. A lot, of, uh, a lot of earthquake activity down south and as I noted throughout the Indonesia area and also now uh, looks like around the Afghanistan area I've seen a 5.0 or actually yeah, that's the one down in Guam. There we go, Let's scoot it up a little bit. 4.8 here around the Afghanistan region, a little activity in the Pakistan region as well, and some further activity north into the northern areas of China. Uh, all this activity, I believe, uh, strongly kind of backing off some pressure out here, at least temporarily relieving some pressure along the west coast. Kind of talked about this last night, how we're waiting on some larger scale movement over here uh, to kind of ease up the uh, activity we've been seeing along the west coast the Alaska region and the adjacent plate here along the South America region with the Nazca and the Pacific plate interaction there. Uh, looks like that's kind of halted some of the activity that we're seeing here along the western part of the states. Uh, today just uh, uh, not a whole lot of activity. The majority of this was from yesterday. That's a 2.5 map and above. Let's check out the all magnitudes map. Notice things really really calmed down, uh, dropped off dramatically considering all that pressure activity looks like that teeter-totter effect is kind of teetered back over in this this area of the world's favor as far as earthquake activity goes uh, looking at a little bit closer view here some scattered activity uh, and again the majority of this activity is from yesterday uh, no major movement really to report look at the dwindling activity throughout the eastern sierra nevada uh, and even down here in southern california just one earthquake within the last hour uh, and a couple spotty uh, earthquake, um, very small microquakes around the Borrego Springs southward, but 
Uh, again, as I, as I mentioned, things have really, really dropped off here along the West Coast uh, for now. And of course, that's, that's always all subject to change, right? You can always get uh, uh, some further movement developing around this area of the world. But I think for now, we're just kind of, kind of on a little break. Uh, let's see what we got up into the Pacific Northwest. The same up there, not a whole lot going on. Uh, some movement up through the Idaho and Montana region, also Yellowstone. But uh, uh, again, looking at these dates here, look like they were uh, uh, overnight and yesterday timestamp. A uh, little activity kicking up into the area of the Oklahoma region and the New Madrid zone. A couple small earthquakes uh, right around the New Madrid zone looks like uh, looks like at least one of these was from recent a 1.8, uh, and these other two that struck were from last night a 2.4, and also another 1.8 within this region of the New Madrid zone. Uh, nothing going on throughout the eastern part of the country um, along this side. Puerto Rico area has kind of dropped off as well. Looking at. Uh, only a handful of quakes, most of it confined here to the southwestern portion of the, the, uh, the Puerto Rico area. South America, um, try to see if we see had, had anything this morning. Looks like maybe a 4.2 at uh, 24 kilometers, just north of Santiago, Chile area. Um, other than that, things have really uh, died off, and I'm sure a little bit later on when we do the update, a lot of this here will be off the chart, uh, considering that uh, some of these are older earthquakes approaching the 24-hour threshold. Uh, so right now, big picture, folks, pretty obvious, all this movement uh, in this area of the world. And, and again, kind of relieving some tension and some, I wouldn't say tension, but uh, some stress out here, plate tectonic stress along the West Coast. Uh, Alaska, Couple handful, a uh, little handful of earthquakes up here within the last hour. A couple 1.6s. Uh, let's see what we got. Majority of this overnight, it looks like, and yesterday time frame. Not a whole lot of activity. This is yesterday's movement. Uh, not a whole lot of large scale activity today. So, um, quiet areas for sure right now. Um, what do we got for Hawaii? little earthquake activity up top at the uh, Mauna Loa area right there in the crater it looks like a couple small microquakes very shallow uh, 2.0 seems to be the largest that one uh, striking overnight looks like and uh, typical movement down here around Pahala although nothing coming in within the last hour <clears throat> only 13 earthquakes to report on the map here for the big island have my coffee even when it's 105 outside I gotta drink my coffee it's not 105 in here I got it freezing 65 here in the computer room it's supposed to be 109 outside so I'm gonna keep it as cold as I can here uh, and enjoy it let me tell you I'm not a big fan of the heat I keep saying that because I keep hating it I don't like the heat <laughs> one earthquake out here off the coast of uh, uh, Algeria looks like 4.4 at uh, 10 kilometers. So just notice, folks. You know, just notice this trail of activity um, throughout the Pacific Plate and all around this bend here, where we expect to see further movement. That has ultimately uh, led to uh, some some quieter activity out here along the eastern Pacific and some adjacent plates there. A couple. Uh, movement earthquake uh, maps here kind of shows the general direction of the Pacific Plate. Uh, this here is kind of the eastern Pacific Plate and the, the northwestward movement. Um, all these are little arrows. The longer the arrows, the more uh, movement that occurs with the, uh, the plate areas here. Here's another map, a little view of uh, the uh, fault systems and the plate boundaries and whatnot. Of uh, course, we did see some larger scale activity here a few days ago, remember, along the Pacific Plate and the Nazca Plate, right around where these arrows are in the uh, divergent boundary out here, it's separating seafloor, uh, which ultimately caused an uptick in activity uh, with the six, point, uh, the six pointer that struck off the coast of Chile. And then we've seen all that activity work its way up north 
into the western states here and up further into the Alaska region yesterday but uh, that has since uh, kind of built up I mean it's it's kind of paused right now uh, and all the further activity is building up here in the subduction zones we're getting the uh, activity really building up here along the Kermadec Trench uh, at the areas at the surface but I still think there's a very good possibility of seeing some larger scale deep earthquake activity here in the um, in the region uh, it's been somewhat quiet in terms of of your daily deep movement here it's just we only got one deep earthquake and it's only 135 kilometers deep here for a 5.1 not not that big of a deal some of these should be five six hundred six hundred kilometers deep for that region so might see something a little bit on the larger side considering all the uh, surface uh, earthquake activity we're seeing there along the Kermadec and the Tonga Trench. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone area, see if we got anything popping up here. Of course last night we had a little bit of uh, earthquake activity and, and I'm pretty certain that this is earthquake activity. Let's see if I can pull up the right a couple different ones hiding here. They're not going to let me see it. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in there. Around the uh, which one is that? Norris Junction area. <clears throat> I had a a little bit of um, sequence of earthquakes it looks like here for a very short period of time. Notice that it has died off, uh, but those are earthquakes. I believe there's earthquakes because they're showing up here around the Maple Creek area as earthquakes as well, but the strongest region uh, around the Norris Junction area, picking up that uh, little spitter spatter of dynamic earthquake activity. It looks like the Pitchstone Plateau picked up some of it as well. Um, it's kind of, uh, a lot of times we get these little rapid uh, earthquake movements, you know, really closely, uh, closely together, I should say, and it kind of looks like a continuous line of earthquake activity. Uh, the USGS, I don't believe, reported any of this. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to decipher uh, the magnitudes and whatnot when they're so close together. They only have a 1.3 uh, from yesterday afternoon. It looks like nothing showing up here uh, with that movement that I. Uh, showed you guys here on this map, so we'll see if they uh, see if they get to it uh, tomorrow or possibly Monday. Who knows? Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, I think that's about it. Just keep your guards out here. Keep your eyes open here for this area, of the plates uh, of the plate boundary, and also some further activity. Like I mentioned, working their way west from the east. Little dynamic pressure arrow here, working its way around the bend see what we got for space weather I know we had some uh, M flares kick off overnight bring up the solar ham site um, looks looking at the uh, x-ray chart here reached a couple M flares over the last 24 hours uh, some low-grade ones but uh, some M flares nonetheless did have a pretty cool uh, little filament blast off from earth or from Earth, from the Sun, that wouldn't be good. Um, from the Sun yesterday, uh, a plasma-rich solar filament uh, located on the Northern Hemisphere erupted and was responsible for a faint, slow-moving coronal mass ejection. Uh, the plasma cloud appears to be headed mostly to the Northwest and away from the Earth. Only a weak glancing blow at best may be possible within the next 72 hours. So that's gonna be this beautiful feature there that. Sometimes they lift up and blast off from the Earth. There it is right there in a, in a nice fashion there. Kind of looks like a CME. Um, basically, that's kind of what it is, but not produced from a flare. Kind of produced just from the, uh, the filament there stretching across. There's basically a canyon of fire. And uh, sometimes these things blast off, and that's what it did yesterday. Got a 4.0 right now into the Peru area just checking that out on the uh, <clears throat> on my phone we'll check out the EMSC model here in just a little bit uh, looking at the solar flare threat these guys still have uh, a pretty sizable increase in chance here of X flare 40% chance for an M flare 99% chance for a C flare uh, and that is probably a good um, good reasoning there for the um, flare potential we have been crackling with C and M flares over the past 24 hours and there's always that chance of, a, of an X flare popping off from one of these sunspots. Uh, culprit probably going to be these newer uh, developing sunspots here 
or 3057. There's a lot of intermixing here of 3058. Let's see what these guys are reporting for the uh, probability 3058. Uh, they only got 5% chance here of 3058, so uh, these guys still have some of these older sunspots as the likelihood of producing some solar flares. But uh, I think these newer ones, we've got to watch those as well. It's going to be these guys. Um, 3058, 3059. Uh, let's see. Let me go to the EMSC model here real quick. And um, there's that 4.0 kicking up into the Peru area. Uh, right now. I want to key into the New Zealand area. See what kind of lower activity we have here. Quite a few threes in the mix of those fours as well. Pretty nice increase uh, overnight and this morning. Not a whole lot of activity throughout the uh, Vanuatu area. Did have a 5.3 in the region, uh, but a big crunch of earthquakes in the three range around the uh, Indonesia and the Java Drench area. Excuse me, got a little hiccups here going on. We're seeing uh, even a 2.9 within the last hour, so definitely a noticeable increase in the earthquake activity today uh, in this region. Also throughout the Mediterranean region there as well. Uh, on the map, let's see, where's the USGS map? Uh, don't have a lot of large-scale activity right now here in this region, as far as 4.0 and above goes. But uh, with this with this pressure gradient here kind of working its way around this area, uh, I wouldn't doubt if we see something a little bit on the larger side in this area as well. Uh, looks like the Atlantic Ocean moved a little bit, well, way down here. I shouldn't really say the Atlantic on the Scotia Sea area, kind of at the very, eh, it's somewhat, no, I don't think it's into the subduction zone here, uh, just outside of it, the uh, outside of the South Sandwich Islands area, uh, and the Scotia Sea got a 4.9. It's been a little while since we've seen any activity here throughout the Atlantic, but uh, could very well pop into view as well. If that's the case, uh, we'll just probably go through that cycle again. Uh, where we could be seeing some further movement um, along the North American plate here, but we'll uh, keep an eye on it. It's just a very interesting uh, uh, earthquake activity day today. I mean, just a large-scale uptick in movement throughout this region. Uh, yesterday, it did not look like this. Most of the activity yesterday was all along here and the day prior as well. So, teeter-totter teeter-totter effect in full swing right now or, or full tilt however you want to look at it all right guys i'm going to jump off here and going to try and stay cool and we'll uh, enjoy the rest of the day i guess in the heat well in the cool outside of the heat have a good day stay safe folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later on tonight unless something major happens don't forget today's the last day for the 75,000 subscriber giveaway entry video. We'll shut down the comments uh, tonight. Got to make sure you get that uh, uh, get that in. Tomorrow will be the drawing. I uh, still haven't given a time. It'll be late afternoon time frame, but we'll, sh we'll set up a time and definitely share it with you guys here uh, when that will be taking place. All right, take care, folks. We'll see you a little bit later on. Peace out.